In this tutorial, we will be addressing the basic functions of the Shortel communicator, such as answering calls, transferring calls, and conferencing. We will start off by answering an incoming call, after which we will try transferring that call to another extension. So when the call comes in, you will see it both ringing on the Shortel phone and on the communicator. You can answer it either by pressing the speaker button on the phone, lifting the handset, or in the communicator, either by double-clicking the call field or clicking Answer. If you notice next to the Answer icon on the communicator, there is also a 2VM option. This would allow us to send the incoming call straight into our voicemail if we do not wish to answer the call at this time. For the purpose of our tutorial, we will go ahead and select Answer. Once a call is in progress, you can transfer the call by clicking Transfer in the Call menu or by clicking the Transfer icon. I am now presented with a transfer window. From here, I can either type in a user's name I want to transfer to, an extension number, or even an external number. For this tutorial, we're going to use one of our system extensions. Once we select a destination, you will notice the transfer option appears in the bottom of the window. The first option is simply transfer. If transfer is selected, the call will be sent straight through to the chosen destination. The second option is consult. If consult is chosen, the call you are transferring remains on hold while you are able to speak with the person you are transferring the call to, allowing you to notify them of the call you are about to send. The third option is to Mailbox, which will send the call straight through to the voice mailbox of the chosen user. We also have Intercom and Whisper, which are similar to Consult, except instead of ringing the user, it will utilize the Intercom and Whisper features respectively. Let's go ahead and select the Consult option for this demonstration. You can see in the communicator that now there are two lines in the active calls. The first is our original call that we are trying to transfer, and the second is the destination party that we are now speaking with. You will also see the same things presented on the phone. The original call is flashing as it is on hold, and the call we are speaking with is a solid light next to it. So now that we have announced ourselves and notified the person of the call we are sending, we can click the transfer option and the call is then released from our phone and sent through to the selected destination. The conference feature works very similarly to the transfer feature. Once a call is in progress, we will select conference, either from the call menu or the conference icon on our active calls window. We are then presented with a conference window. From here again, we select whom we want to conference the call with, and we are given some options of conference, consult, and intercom. We will select consult again, as we would like to speak with the person we are bringing into the conference call before tying them to the call. If you look in the calls window, you again see both calls presented as with transferring. We will now select conference, and our conference call is now put together. If you notice now that our conference is in progress, our active calls window is slightly different in that the first line shows the conference call and below it can see each party connected to the conference. Next to each of the connected parties, you will notice a hang up icon. This icon allows you to drop a single party from the call without having to disconnect the entire conference. Many are used to having to disconnect the entire conference and then call parties back to discuss the call afterwards. With the Shortel, this is not necessary thanks to this feature. The phone has the same ability as well. It has what is called a show key. When in a conference, one of the soft keys will change into this show key. When pressed, the conference appearance will split showing both parties. At this point, we can press the scroll key to switch between the parties and then press the drop soft key to drop the selected party. 
you can see that we are now down to a single party rather than in a conference. This concludes Lesson 2 of our Shortel tutorials. For more information on the Shortel system, you can continue to view our video tutorials or you can also download user guides at our website www.sonoranintegrations.com slash docs.html